Welcome back to another video. So guys, the drama between South African political parties continues, you know. MK party, EFF are playing for the same team while the government of national unity consists of parties like PA, um, ANC and other uh, parties like the DA, you know. So a lot of people have controversy on this matter. For continuing, please do me a favor, do not forget to subscribe. Multi updates. So for those of you guys who don't know, MK Party and the EFF are now playing for the same team and they have joined forces, you know. The government of national unity consists of um, ANC, Patriotic Alliance, DA and other a few uh, smaller parties, guys, you know. So they have uh, so much power together combined, you know, in, in parliament and everywhere, you know, because they have the majority. Now the EFF... And MK Party also decided to join forces alongside other smaller parties, few other smaller parties, so that they don't get highly dominated in parliament by other political parties, you know, because they are opposing the government of national unity. The progressive caucus, which consists of uh, MK Party, EFF, is playing against the government of national unity. So there has been a lot of controversy, a lot of back and forth in in parliament you know now jacob zuma's party is being represented by judge Klope, you know he has been playing uh good for the team also he has been striking really really well you know he has been presenting nothing but facts because you guys know that he has um he he is a highly qualified lawyer you know now he is part of the judicial service commission so jacob zuma really knew who he, who he was selecting when he um put uh, judge Klope on that position because judge Klope has been doing uh so amazing guys you know he is not get getting carried out by his emotions you know he is always spitting facts um in parliament you know now with the eff also it has some great um leaders like Ngozi who has been uh, giving them tough time you know making sure that south africans see that the government of national unity is just a joke you know everything that they just say like is not really convincing you know we have seen that they are using clowns like Gaten mckenzie and other um members of the anc to represent them but they are not doing good you know they have been embarrassing saramaposa saramaposa's face guys was just really so sad you know it's like he was thinking too much on what's gonna happen because this is my last plan you know helen zili gave me a speech to um go in front of the national tv and lie about jobs you know giving people false uh, promises. But I'm just glad that the opposition uh, consists of uh, better teams which always, you know, defend the constitution. So the government of national unity may definitely not last, you know, because they have uh, really disappointed majority South Africans with what they did in parliament today, you know. So at this point, people are taking Malema seriously for saying the government of national unity will not last even two years. He said that is a maximum number if government of national unity was going to last, you know. So they are really still going to have tough times. Just uh, the first day and already in close was mocking them um, like that, you know. Fred Shivambu also are taking Saramaposa with Malema. So people were really disappointed by Gaten McKenzie from the government of national unity. He is... He is clueless on what he is doing. Now, thank you, know? you so much for watching this video. You guys, your thoughts on the comment section below. What you think? It. Do not forget to subscribe for more test updates.